Here's part five of our conversation with Mike Levine of Triumph. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. Uh, will the band ever get back together? Well, we did uh, you know, a, a couple of times over the, over the, you know, in the 80s, late, no, not the 80s, 90s, 2000s, <laughs> 2008. We played over in Sweden, did a festival there, and a show in Oklahoma, a big, a big uh, called Rocklahoma. And we were going to go on the road, and then the recession hit. You know, we, there was plants, there was buildings on hold, you know, everything was starting to fall into place. And then and when the recession, we talked to the promoters and everybody just said, you know what, it's like for you guys, it'd be embarrassing if you go out and do, do three quarters of a house instead of selling out. You know? What year was that? Uh, that was 2008, nine. Okay. There, there. You know, so, and it was horrible. I mean, there was no, like concerts were dying everywhere. You couldn't sell a ticket in the Midwest. You know, it didn't matter who you were. The Beatles would have had trouble selling tickets. You know, so it was, uh, we, we just tabled it. And then it went on for, you know, the recession lasted a couple of years, and certainly in the music business. And, and then we decided, you know what, we're a couple of years older, maybe we can't do it. <laughs> the idea of a, of a big tour, because we were looking at maybe doing 60, 70 dates over the course of the year and a half or so. And uh, the investment and, in the, you know, in the production and all that, you know, to put it all together and the time, just rehearsal time and everything else. So we decided, you know what, that's prob probably not in the best interest of all of us. You know, it's not like everybody was going, yeah, we got to do it. Or, you know, it's one you yeah. want to do it or I want to do it. We all just thought, not, not a good idea anymore. But well, we did get together and play uh, for the documentary that's coming up soon, I hope. Just, just about finished. Yeah, what's the update on that? Everyone's asking me to ask you on that. I, I asked Rick and he says, well, it's COVID and, you know, uh, but. Everything everything took twice as long once COVID hit, you know, from a, because you got an editor and a director and they can't be in the same editing suite together, right? So we're working from home. And uh, so it have, you know, have to upload something and then they talk on the phone about it and then freeze or something, you know, it just was a nightmare for them. Well, especially with film, time. especially with film, it takes forever. Music's different. Yeah, for sure. But film is like, you know, you're dealing with slivers and, you know, little bits and pieces all the time. But it's just about there. I, I went to the uh, the audio mix uh, a couple of weeks ago just to approve it and uh, have to put in my 10 cents worth. And uh, it sounded really good. You know, it's like, it's a really a great film. It's going to be fabulous. It's just fabulous. We love it, all of us. Uh, what was the best part of being in Triumph for you? Oh God, uh, I think I think the camaraderie. You know, I think you know just the friendship we had. Yeah. And the worst part? What was the toughest part of being in that band? When we didn't have those for those friendships anymore. Well put. Um, We're just thankful we have them back now. Yeah. Any possibility that uh, you guys will ever do anything in the studio again? Well, that's always possible. We leave that door open all the time. If anybody comes up with something that's really cool that we can go in and, and still be able to play and, and or sing. Um, yeah, the, the door's always open. It's not like, you know, their studio sits there and we could use it. 